accounting for 78% of atmospheric air. Nitrogen can pose problems during combustion if not adequately controlled. The production and emission of nitrogen oxides, or NOx, is a major issue that is heavily regulated by environmental authorities and legislation worldwide. If uncontrolled, it can result in excessive ozone levels and smog, affecting health, as well as acid rain caused by NOx reacting with water. NOx is categorised into three different types, namely thermal NOx, fuel NOx and prompt NOx. Thermal NOx occurs in high temperature processes above 1200 degrees Celsius. Its formation is related to the temperature of the combustion flame and the amount of time the nitrogen is present in the flame. Fuel NOx is created by the reaction of the nitrogen in fuel with excess oxygen in the combustion air. The role of the flue gas denitrification plant is to remove residual nitrogen oxides in the flue gas. These plants fall into two main types. Selective catalytic reduction, SCR plants, add ammonia to the flue gas before passing the flue gas through a multi-bed selective catalytic reduction process. As the NOx passes through, it is converted into water and nitrogen. These plants are highly efficient, achieving a removal rate of around 90%. Selective non-catalytic reduction SNCR, plants are less efficient, removing around 70% of NOx, but use urea, which is cheaper and easier to use than ammonia. The urea is added to the furnace to break the NOx down into nitrogen, carbon dioxide and water. Maximising the efficiency of the combustion process to ensure the optimum level of excess air will help to minimise the load on these plants. Both thermal and fuel NOx levels can be controlled by using oxygen probes to ensure the excess air level does not exceed the required limit. Measuring the flue gas at the economizer outlet will enable operators to assess the effectiveness of the air-to-fuel mix in the combustion process, which can be fine-tuned if too much air is present. For more information about ABB's AZ Analyzer range, contact your local sales representative or visit www.abb.com forward slash measurement.